Hey guys, today in this video we're going to do a campground review. We're going to do a review of Fort Hamby Campground in Wilkesboro, North Carolina. I'm Brian, welcome to Joko Outdoors. Let's get this on a roll. Alright, we're here at Fort Hamby Park, it's part of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. At this park they have 32 RV campsites with 30 and electric amp, water hookups. They do have a dump station here. Um, they've got a day use area. They have an amphitheater. They've got a lot of amenities here, guys. Um, it is a part of the W. Carr Scott Dam and Reservoir. It's on the W. Carr Scott Lake. Um, and so it has beautiful lake access. It's got a boat ramp down there. Um, so we're gonna go on a drive through. We're gonna go through the day use area, the park, and uh, the campground and we're going to come back and show you guys some footage uh, just so you guys can see where the camp spots are, um, the playground, the day use area, the boat ramp, um, so you guys can get a good idea of the park and, and uh, how good of a park it is and whether it suits your accommodations or not. Alright guys, so we turn to the right right here and we're going to go down through here. Um, this, this leads to the day use area. So we're going to go we're gonna take a ride down through here and just kind of show you. Uh, we're gonna show you what the day use area looks like. We're gonna go past uh, the amphitheater. We're gonna stop right there and show you some some you know what that looks like. We're gonna stop right up here. They have a disc golf uh, area right up here, and we will show you uh, the disc golf area. You can see right here. This is one of the one of the parts of the disc golf right here on the side um, so that's where that's one of the spots where they play the game the main parking to the disc golf is over here on the right so we will go over here um, we'll just kind of show you right here they got people out there right now so we're not going to stop there but if we go and you can see that's that's the parking for the uh, Fort Hamby disc golf course and then uh, that goes throughout. That goes throughout the entire park. Um, now we are going to stop right over here. There's the Laura Shelter. It's also where the amphitheater is. So we're going to uh, stop right here and show you the amphitheater. Amphitheater. Um, we're at the Forest Edge Amphitheater at Fort Hamby Park. Right here, they do put dramas on, uh, such as Tom Dooley, which is a local. Hero in Wilkesboro, North Carolina, and uh, Moonshine and Thunder, the Junior Johnson story. Now, they've not done Moonshine and Thunder for a couple of years, but they do hope to get that back going here. The uh, amphitheater is shut down right now because of COVID-19, um, but they they hope to get it up and running soon, soon as all this stuff clears out, get the dramas playing again. And uh, if, if you stop and look, I'll step out of the way and then you can kind of see what this uh, theater looks like. Um, there's plenty of seating right here. Um, definitely a great echo. So um, I think this is definitely a good benefit of this park. Um, it's, it's definitely a big benefit of this park. Um, if one of the plays was going on, I'd love to sit down right here and watch it. Um, but we're gonna step it out, step out of the way, and just uh, do a whole view of the of the amphitheater. Alright guys, so that was the amphitheater. Um, as far as the Laura Shelter, you do have to call for reservations on that. So now we're going to go down to the uh, picnic area, the swimming area, the uh, playground. They do have a volleyball court down there. Um, of course, all these shelters have to be reserved and everything. Um, but you can always call and, and uh, call up here to the park and reserve these uh, shelters.
Now being that it is near the end of September, you know, the, the swimming area is closed because of the cool weather outside. Um, there's no signs up that say that it's closed, but, um, you know, we, we did imagine that if it's like any other place, that it would be closed during this time of year. Now the park is only open until October 15th. So after October 15th until next April, I believe it is, you will not be able to uh, come out here. Um, here's the swimming area. So during the uh, during the spring and summer months, be a great little area to go swimming. Um, looks like the highest it can be is about seven foot deep. Um, right now, it looks like it's probably more more so around five foot based on the measurements out there. There's no pets allowed down here, so if you have any dogs or anything like that, um, cats, whatever kind of pets you have, there's the lake. Um, whatever kind of pets you have, you do have to leave them back at the campground. And uh, we will get more footage of the playground up here. Um, we've got some family footage that we will uh, incorporate in here. Um, but this is the playground. That is a, uh, it's not just a restroom, but it's actually a bathhouse too. They have showers up there inside that bathhouse. Um, so if you get extremely dirty out here and you need to take a shower, um, I guess you could.
right down here is the boat ramp. Um, there's a couple of boat ramps. This is the boat ramp to the park here. You also, it looks like you also have a boat ramp right across the stream over there. We're gonna just pull right over here. There's a do not enter right down there. We're gonna get out and we're just gonna kind of walk down a little bit so you guys can see what the uh, what the boat ramp looks like. All right, guys. So we have we have two two boat ramps right here, um, side by side. They're for loading and unloading only. So you know, just make sure that you're careful whenever you go going right there. And then if you come right down here, if you'll come right down here, you can see there's a dock right over here that you can go load up on. Um, so you just you know, pull your boat right over there load up right there come back pull your truck out um, if you're doing it individually if you have a partner with you um, they can pull it up you can wait on them right over there a um, nice little area right here there is another boat ramp across the reservoir over there i'm not quite sure where that one uh, goes to but i'm sure you can find out all right let's get back on the road Guys, so the dump station is actually right up here, right back behind the gatehouse. We'll take a quick ride up through there. Now at this uh, at this dump station, they do have firewood for sale. It's about five dollars a bundle, which isn't bad. It's cheaper than most places in town. Um, so they do have a firewood firewood box right there. Um, there's actually a spot on the gatehouse that you go and you put your money in for the uh, firewood. Um, at the gatehouse as well, they also have uh, ice there for sale too. Um, but you have your you have your dump station right up here. Um, more disc golf out there in the field. Um, your dump station is right here. It's it's, on, it's a single dump station only. Um, but it's in a nice little area. It's it's pretty large. Then you have your dumpsters up here, you have your boxes over here on the left, and then you have your trash right here on the right. Um, now we're gonna go down to the campground. We're gonna go we're gonna show you right down through here. So there's two there's two ways that you can go. If you go sites one through eleven or straight ahead right here. So if you're in sites one through eleven, you just keep going straight and it'll take you straight to it. Um, all the rest of the sites are back toward the right right here. So we're gonna go this way first. We're gonna go toward the right, and we're just gonna show you all the campgrounds. We're gonna show you the campsites and everything, and and uh, just so you guys get an idea of you know where the camp campsites are at so it can help you decide which campsite you want more out in front of us if you have uh, if you got your fishing lines and stuff with you it'd be a great spot to go fishing so if you're out close by the water remember to bring your fishing line with you
Alright. So, if we go right here on the right, there's parking for this trail. There's parking for the Bushwhacker Trail. Okay, and that is a little trail that goes around the campground. Six and twenty seven. What side is that one? That's twenty eight right there. So twenty seven and twenty eight aren't too bad of campsites right there. Back up in there, that's empty. That's a nice little spot. Trying to get the empty ones a little bit more in depth as well. Alright, then you have you have 
30 right here. 30 is a pull through sight. And then over here, this to me, this is the best group camping site you have, 31 and 32. Um, it's back up in the woods, kind of secluded. That's the type of camping I like. And you have uh, spot number four over here on the left. Four is not bad, that's a pretty good site too. Five is right here. Six. Six is another pull through. Seven. Just shine it up through here. You have eight over here on the left. You have nine. We're right here at ten. So nine and ten side right beside each other. Sight right there. Yep. Spot number 10, and you can see we're right across from the uh, right across from the, from the bathhouse. And then site number 11 is directly across from the back bathhouse right here. But it's also a handicap spot, so try to save those for the handicaps. All right, we're gonna go up here to the uh, to the group camp. take you through the loop where spots one through four are and then we will wrap back around so here's site one somebody's got a tent put up right there site two is right here site here's one two. We have site four right here where this where this person is. Again, trying to be respectful, respectful to everyone. Alright guys. Here is our campsite. Campsite number ten. All right guys, so as you can see, we went through the whole campground. We went through the day use area, went through the uh, you know, the beach, the swimming area, the boat ramps, everything. It's a really good campground up here. Um, it's nice and cool in September. Um, you can see that our campsite, our spot here, isn't too bad. 
and we are right near the uh, there's the bathhouse right up there so you know if, if you're looking for one that's right near the bathhouse um, 10 and 9 are pretty good site number one's really good um, it really just any of these uh, right here in this area um, when you see the map when you look at the map um, any one of the ones that are in this area 9 10 8 4 um, 11 1 2 maybe even 3 that's not that far from the from the uh, bathhouse either so we hope you guys enjoyed this uh, camp this campground review we think it's a great campground would love to come back to Fort Hamby Park um, hope you guys this helps you guys figure out what it is that um, or what campsite you want um, here's a little bonus for you I did have to get permission from the US Army Corps of Engineers to do this review um, and so I'm very thankful to the US Army Corps of Engineers for allowing me to do this uh, YouTube campground review um, you guys do that if you come up here and you want to film a YouTube film go and get permission first these guys have been really good to work with and we hope that uh, hope that they give us more opportunities to do this later on down the road um, again thank you to the US Army Corps of Engineers I will try to post a link below at recreation.gov where you can go and uh, look up the amenities of this campground and you can you know make reservations for next year they're only open till October 15th so you don't have much time left but um, definitely go make reservations for next year we appreciate you guys we love you guys and remember this is God's country